Hi everyone, Tash you all are doing well. So we're going to work on our login page and maybe the register page. But before I do that, I just want to create three components. So in my components folder right here, I need to create an input, a label and a button. So because we need for one for our email, one for our password and obviously a submit button. So I just want to create that as well for that. So let's go in our components. Let's create a new file in here and call this one button dot js and let's create a new one in here and call this one input.js and the last one we need one for our label as well so label.js all right so now we got three components right there but obviously they're not done so we need to create them right so in here what i'm going to do i'm just going to say export uh, default uh, function and we're going to call this one button all right, so let's give us some room. So by default, I want my button to be a submit button. So I'm just going to put curly braces. By default, I'm going to say the type to be submit. All right, the next part right there. So if I add any additional classes, I'm just going to put the class name in there as well. So we just put it in there and then the props. Okay, so if you want to add additional props for your button. So we got that right there. So in here, we're just going to return that button. So return parentheses, and then we got our button in here. All right, so just make sure that you have a self closing button. So just like that. So we're just going to say set the type. We want the type to be the type that we put it in here as a prop. So as you can see, the type is submit. The next thing in here, we need a classes. Okay, so let's do Right. You can decide, obviously, however you want to style it. I just want to kind of show you guys the basics. All right, so I'm just going to put two parentheses, two curly braces with two backticks. All right, they call it temple literals. All right, so in here, what that allows us to do is actually to put in a variable. So in this case, it will be the class name, like that. Okay, so whatever class name we want to pass through to this component, we can basically pass it like that. All right, so in here, now we can add our different styling. Now, I'm going to add my own, so you can decide however you guys want to. And just pause the video if you want to copy mine. All right, since I'm using Indigo, that's kind of the color I'm going for. Okay, so the next part in here, I just want to add the props in there as well. Just like that. All right, so that's our button all done. So now in order to actually, this must be three dots, not two. Now in order actually to render this button, all we have to do, if we go to our pages folder, I'm just using this as an example. So we go to our pages folder in the index right there. Let's quickly bring in that button. So I'm just gonna make it like this, button. So as you can see, components button. So as you can see, I have my button in there. So as you can see, I'm rendering it right there. Awesome. All right, so what I can do, let me just do it like this, put the button like this, and just say log it. All right, as you see, there's my button, so I can hover over it, whatever I can do. Okay, awesome. So that's basically how you bring in that component right there, but I'm not going to make use of it right now because I'm going to make use of it, my obviously, my login page. So I'm just using it as an example. So we got our button all done. So let's go to our input field. So let's do the same thing. We're going to do an export, a default a function, and then we're going to just say input. Okay, so parentheses, curly braces. By default, I'm going to set the disable button to false. So this field, this input field is not going to be disabled. So disabled, I'm going to set that just to false. And then obviously the next part is the class names. Say that to empty. So if I want to add additional classes to my input field, I can do that. And obviously the last part, three dots and the additional props. Okay. And then we just want to return this input. So parentheses. And in here, we're just going to say input. Input like this, self-closing. And then in here, we just want to say disabled. Disabled, and we just want to set it to the disabled that we just passed through. And then obviously we can add our classes in here. So class name, we're going to set that to whatever classes we need. Two backticks, dollar sign for a variable, and then we're just going to add the class name like that. And then we're just going to say make no outlines. So no outlines. We just want to give it a border. 
And what must the border be? Let's say border must be, because we're working with indigo color, so let's do that. So border, uh, make it indigo, let's say 400. And then we're just going to give it a minimum height of 10. And then padding on the X axis, maybe of one. Let's make it two. Okay, so that is that. And then we just add our props in here. So let's just do that. So dot, 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 props. Okay, so that's our input field. So let's go to our index page to see if we can render that. So in here, let's do that. So we bring in our input. Actually do this, input like this. As you can see, I'm getting there. And just put it like that. So as you can see, we've got our input. Don't like the square. So let's just put another class in there called rounded. As you can see, it rounds it quite nice. So if you don't like the styling, so make it 500. Now oh, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so that's our input field right there. Obviously, I'm not going to use it here. I'm just making an example. All right, so let's do the last one. The last one is our label. Okay, so let's do that. So export uh, default uh, function, and this will be our label. All right, so by default, this is going to have some children. Okay, so the children can be whatever we need to type between the labels. So this can be either email, password, or whatever the label can be. Okay, so that is our label right there. So we have the children and then obviously the class name. So we mustn't forget that. Class name and the props. All right, now the thing is, if you guys see, I like to use double quotes. Now that is just a convention. So if you're using double quotes, use it throughout the application. If you use single quotes, use it throughout your application. Just be consistent, right? Because I know some people like to use single quotes. Others like to use double quotes, right? Totally, totally up to you. All right. So now we need to just return this label. So return parentheses. And in there, we're going to add our label. So I'm just going to do it like this. We'll get the, don't worry about the four. I'm going to delete that right now. So in here, in our label, we need to render the children. So, okay, so we're just going to put in the children right there. And then in our label, I'm just going to give us some room in here. So the first thing is just the class name. Okay, so whatever classes we need. Class name. Like this. Okay, and then obviously any additional classes that you need. Just want it to be a blog. And maybe text indigo again. But indigo, let's say 700. Just like that. And then we just pass in the props. Three dots, props. Okay, so that's our label, input, and button done. I just want to see how the label looks like. So let me just do that. Label. Yeah. And just say jump. Right, so I got my label right there. Okay, so obviously I can add additional classes in here. So on bold, with an example. All right, so as you can see, on bold right there. All right, so thank you guys for watching. This is just the three, uh, this episode just to create the three components. So thank you for watching, do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next one where we're going to create our login form so the person can be authenticated so that they can view all the posts. So what I will do is I will create the login page. Then after that, the next episode, we're going to work on our index because I want to loop over all the articles that we receive and actually display them on the first one. And yes. All right. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Adios.